Um, last thing I want to show you is just launching it. So here's how you do it. So I'm ready to launch my site, right? Let's go to upgrade now. You can do it either down here by clicking upgrade now, or if you don't have that button, you can go to settings, billing and account, billing, and then upgrade your plan. You're gonna have your site for two weeks and then you're going to, uh, and they're gonna launch it. These prices reflect my 20% discount, okay? So this is normally, I think 12 a month, and this is normally 16 a month. This is normally 26 a month. This is normally 40 a month. So with my my boldly find discount, you can get 20% off for your first year. Comes with a domain name. So what you would do is you would you would click upgrade your plan. You would choose the plan that's right for you. Click select, go through all the information, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to do that now because I don't need another site. Um, but what it'll do, it'll bring up the domains. And so with your hosting for the first year, you're going to, it's gonna come with a free domain name and you can you can choose what that is. So it's gonna pull that up. Let me show you how to do that from the back end though. You go to settings, website, domains, get a domain. Real quick, Squarespace builds in a domain for you. So I can change this to be something not random like that. Just be like, Nick Aroko at squarespace.com or Nick Aroko dot squarespace.com. It's not going to let me do that because I've done it before. Nick Aroko rocks at square dot squarespace.com. Right. So you can use that cust like that custom temporary domain. I wouldn't recommend it because I don't think it's super professional. Uh, but yeah, let's go to settings, website, domains, get a domain. And then I'm gonna type it in. What do I want? I wanna do, um, I'm gonna do like, let's try Nicaragua Rocks. NicaraguaRocks.com or Nicaragua.rocks. Dot rocks is a thing now. That's ridiculous. Um, and you can see all these. So Squarespace offers domain services as well. You can buy a domain just by itself on Squarespace without buying hosting. They're $20 flat for the entire year and they come with domain privacy. You will not find a better deal out there. You might say, oh, well, again, GoDaddy does $2.99 a month. It's like, yeah, but you gotta buy five years up front, and it doesn't come with domain privacy, which is $7.99. So just do yourself a favor and buy it on Squarespace because you're probably gonna end up hosting on Squarespace anyways because you saw how badass it is. And it's gonna be easier to link it. Like connecting third-party domains, like doing this stuff, use a domain I own, I own nickaroko.com. Ironically enough, I actually have this name hosted through GoDaddy because uh, I let it go and then GoDaddy held it hostage and I had to buy it for like $600. It sucked. Um, so don't do that. Buy your domain name now. Keep it in your pocket. They're $20 a year. It's nothing when it comes to like a website. Uh, and then and then connect it later. But if it's bought in Squarespace, it's a lot easier. You can also see those top level domains like Nicaroco.design. Go check it out. See what see what kind of domains you have in it. It'll recommend a bunch of different ones, and you can see like load more. Squarespace is cool because you can filter the the dot whatever the not com names by different um, categories. And they're again, they're coming out with more and more every every week. So it's hard to keep track of what they still have. But I mean they have everything. It's like dot design, dot space, dot me, dot art, dot online, dot org, etc.